Hello everyone, today on the channel, it's time for some Brawl Before of course, uh, Dominaria United kicks in and we're gonna have a lot more legendaries I mean we haven't even been through all the Baldur's Gate legendaries yet To be honest, we've been making Brawl decks with Baldur's Gate for maybe 5 weeks now And uh, today is Shadowheart and Shadowheart is a very, very cool card. I mean, he's Rakdos, and as you know from watching this channel, we really love Rakdos. We are Rakdos people here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's very cool. We play him in uh, Alchemy decks, normal Alchemy decks, of course. And he's a legend. Legend. He's a legend. So that means he can be the commander. So we'll see how we do. Uh, this time is kind of an aggro deck. Obviously, most Brawl decks just uh, ramp, 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 and then they do something big. But this deck has a lot of small casting cast creatures. And uh, let's hope we can actually win some games. Because, again, we just made the deck. We haven't really played tested, as usual. That's how we do it on this channel. Everything is absolutely raw. And, uh, yeah, let's see how he does. I mean, he can come out turn two and then start to make people lose life, including us. Hopefully. We have to play Quenza. We made a Quenza deck when uh, SNC came up. We got two lands. Not the best hand, not the worst hand. I guess you can kind of get an idea of what's going on in this deck. Just gotta hope we draw some lands. Okay, this is definitely going to be a red mana. I think we probably need to get our healed out before we get him out. I mean, he's not necessarily a turn to play. He's not necessarily the best turn to play we have in this deck. Not drawing lands as usual, every time we play Brawl, every time you watch us, unfortunately, playing Brawl, the first game or the first couple of games, we just get mana screwed for some reason. It's like, I don't know, it's part of the game. And of course, opponent has a source to plowshares first turn for our Hilda because if they didn't, we would just pop off. Huh? So it's a control deck. We have not drawn a third land, so we're already behind one land. So we're gonna play him, and then next turn, probably if we don't draw a land, we're gonna concede and move to the next game. We always do that in Brawl. I mean, these are non-games. We literally call them non-games, because like if we're not gonna draw lands, and, you know, yeah, the opponent's already like three lands ahead of us and we're not drawing any lands for two turns in a row so we just concede and move on move on there is absolutely you know absolutely no chance to do anything if we're gonna be missing two lands so, because there's absolutely no chance, that means we just concede. I mean, it's Brawl. There's nothing for us to lose, so... If we're not gonna draw the lands, we concede. And we have free Morrigan, but we have two lands, so there's no point in taking the free Morrigan. The hand was kinda good. And, uh... I don't know, this is the way Arena is designed. <coughs> This is the way Arena is designed. Every time you watch us play these games, you kind of notice it happens every single time. So if it happens once, like one week out of four, you can maybe say that it's a coincidence or something, but considering that it basically happens absolutely every single time, we get mana screwed at least the first game, sometimes two or three games, every time we play Brawl, it's a little bit suspicious and it's obviously not... Not good. Uh, let's get our main man out. We forgot what this does. Like I said, we have a lot of small creatures and a lot of new alchemy creatures. Most of it's actually most of this deck is alchemy. It's Baldur's Gate and the alchemy cards. 
Fatal push our commander. Of course, another opponent has an answer to our commander on the first turn. Because of course they do. Of course they do. Uh, sure. We don't have a card in the graveyard, so... Oh, this guy returns back. Okay, no idea how that works. So we do need the fourth mana. Okay. I'm not sure the opponent's name. I think we're gonna play Cosmos Elixir just because the opponent's not gonna expect our Rakdos aggro deck to have Cosmos Elixir. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. So we'll see how they do. I mean, gaining life and scrying, chaos Baylor. Uh, I guess we'll take it. <laughs> I mean, we have four mana. We can actually cast this, but we can't equip it. We could cast this and this next time. Off of Kaya. Okay, so they're gonna kill something. Okay, no idea what's going on. Oh, they f change our stuff. They change our top draw. Okay, we're still not drawing a fifth land, but we're gonna get to scry. What just happened? Okay, we got a free creature, but we're still not drawing a fifth land. The opponent is getting crazy so they have more removal well this is six mana okay, i guess they can cast it next time so we need to draw lands again we seem to have gotten stuck on five lands uh something for us to exile this and then this guy i don't think we need him yeah go blank is not gonna <laughs> hurt us we're gonna see it's not gonna hurt us but it's kind of hurting us if we let's get this because this is going to take their commander and hopefully get a fifth land i mean scry into a fifth land nope nope not getting a fifth land at all okay so we might not be able to win and of course they have a remover for our artifact of course they have it. If we don't draw land soon, it's not gonna be good for us. Okay, that's also not a land. Rahilda is not bad though. We get to cast Rahilda and Bank Buster. And I don't think we wanna attack because they have this death touch guy, so we're just gonna pass the turn. Like our deck does a lot, even though it's it's basically all alchemy cards. Yes, this is not alchemy, but it says A, so it's kind of alchemy. Why are we not drawing? Wait, what is this not allowing us to draw lands? Wait, why is this in here? I'm supposed to take this out. I think we misclicked this by some bad chance. Come on, fifth land. Exile that guy. Okay. That's interesting. Anyway, past the turn. Can we get a fifth land? Pretty please? Yes, and he comes into play tapped because why would he not come into play tapped? Uh, this thing is three to cast. I think this makes more sense. I mean, we got the. Uh Alchemy cards for a reason. As you know, we love alchemy on this uh, channel. Every Monday we make a brand new alchemy deck, which does include standard cards, but it's obviously alchemy. So we love ourselves some alchemy. We definitely do. So having said that, yeah, we want to attack. We want to get something. Maybe we can get a free land. Having said that, this deck is pretty much, I believe everything is like alchemy. This thing is really powerful for several mana. Except we don't have any cards in the graveyard. And of course they have settled the wreckage. 
and of course we're gonna take our basic land <coughs> because we need lands so we can actually make them let's take a mountain i guess we can actually make them they have five cards so if they get a lot of oh finally we draw extra lands if they get a lot of cards in the graveyard we can actually kill them with this to be honest we can kill them with this easily wait what happened we miss like so many interactions and stuff uh do we want to do this they got their commander out. or we can just two four six seven no we don't even have eight mana Let's just get this out because we might be able to... I think we want to draw cards end of turn. We're going to have to take this turn off. And pass the turn. This Cosmos Elixir is... Yeah, okay. This Cosmos Elixir is doing extra extra huge job so we're just gonna draw cards like crazy gonna do true cards and we could oh my god oh my god we have fires of invention with like seven lands out soon to be eight lands i mean the opponent doesn't know what we have this deck is just absolutely intense this is alchemy see there's an a there just in case you're wondering why is this alchemy yeah all the cards are alchemy cards all the cards are alchemy cards. So here comes the first bomb bitty bomb bomb. Uh, what else do we want to? I think we're just gonna hit their face for four. And. That's. That's it. That is it. That's our guy. We haven't drawn a removal except this. So, if we kill this, it can make us discard everything in our hand, which could be bad. Could be bad. We can only cast two cards, so this doesn't actually do anything. Let's just kill this and see what they do. Wait a second. No, they get to draw... Oh, they get to draw nothing. Okay, so we have to kill this. They get to draw nothing because they have no cards in hand. So they can make us discard five cards. But then we get to draw five cards. So that's fine. We kind of need a creature with three power to actually cast and activate him. This actually turned out into a pretty good game. Uh, probably much better than we expected. Yeah, they drew nothing. Okay, so they kind of screwed up there. Oh, this guy can activate. Yeah, we need to keep our mana. And if we attack with him... They chose the wrong thing. They didn't read what that guy does. And I think we're actually gonna equip him. And we can give it double strike, but they don't know that. They don't know that. 
sure we lose one life. Okay, let's uh, wait. We didn't we didn't play to spell yet. Why can't we give it double strike? Anyway, it doesn't die. It stays as a four one. Oh, it dies. Does this give it death touch? Oh, it does give it death touch. Okay, that's pretty fine. Are they gonna screw up again? I mean, we don't mind drawing four cards. Okay, so they're gonna make us draw four cards. Yeah, that's not good for them. <laughs> that is not good for them at all. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> Giving us four cards is not good for them. I mean, that guy was good, but they just... They just didn't do so well. Uh, do we want to suck this? I think we might want to suck this to draw a card, or we can just kind of draw an extra card with this thing end of turn. Ah, return upon the tide. Ah, we don't need to. Sure. It's time for Ghost Pan Dragon to make his appearance. And then probably key to the archive. Counterspell is funny, we're not gonna lie. Uh discard this dude. Equip this on Goldspan. That's why we have so much, so many equipments because we have the this thing that doesn't let us cast too many things. Yeah, we take two damage. But if you don't kill it, you're gonna take a lot of damage. We don't have mana to counterspell. Actually, we can't counterspell anything. Why do we keep counterspell? We have fires of invention. Okay, we screwed that one up royally. Okay. Is there anything we want to... Sure, we'll take him. We don't even know what some of these alchemy cards do. Is there anything we want to reanimate? I don't think so, except maybe Ghostpan if they kill her. Why do we take Counterspell? We completely forgot that we have Fires of Invention. Unless they kill it somehow, but they don't seem to be interested in killing it. Uh, they have Doomscar, yeah, because of course they have Doomscar. Why would they not have Doomscar? They keep throwing like all their like board wipes and all their remover spells for some reason. Light on. Right on Q. Okay, so we're gonna have to reanimate Ghostpan. I think it's still the best bet. We have to discard the counter spell to this. Because we can't counter anything. It's just like they just need like one turn to not have the boar wipe. That's all they needed to not have the boar wipe for one turn. Okay, so let's just reanimate Ghost Pan because they can't block it with City Stalker, whatever. What else do we want to cast? I think we're gonna cast him. And then we're gonna equip Gold Span. And go to town and make some more zombies. And of course they have another removal spell, somehow. Somehow they always have the removal spell because... Okay, in that case, this guy is gonna attack and remove. 
something. I'm not sure what they're gonna remove something. Uh, I don't know what the hell are we going to remove. Maybe Doomscar. Yeah, I will take her. You don't seem to understand. This deck is just resilient as hell. I mean, all the alchemy he plays like all the alchemy cards. <laughs> yeah, you can cast that. Sure, I'm just gonna equip this guy with the wand and then swing in the air. <laughs> it just has all the alchemy cards. Uh, we don't need to block. Sure. Uh, this thing has... Specialized. Why? Like, why do they keep drawing removal? It's absolutely incredible. Like, every single card they draw is, is removal spot. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, put it on her. Yeah, attack with him too. It's just been absolutely ridiculous. Like, they just keep drawing removal spell. Like, all they drew was removal spell. And of course, they draw two lands in a row. Did it to their face. Uh, play the pathway. If this guy death touch and four strike, and end of turn. I don't think we need this guy. The fact that they can gain life now because of Murderer's Rider. Oh, they finally didn't throw. Whoop de doo. Fortunately, we can't specialize, so. Let's just throw a car. Can sp stop drawing lands. Like, we absolutely had this game, we literally had this game, if they just didn't draw removal spells. Like, every single turn, they drew like three removal spells in a row, only this turn they drew a land. Oh! That is interesting. Okay, what does she do when she specializes again? What? Oh, target check can block this turn. Okay, let's just specialize him. 
and make no 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 okay we can't absolutely ridiculous okay let's just attack them it does have first strike we should probably attack or oh, we missed we should attack with the tyrant he has first strike and death touch Oh no 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 no, this is gonna come back and it, it takes our burn down the house. Oh my god, there goes our whole plan. We screwed up again. We screwed up again. No, we don't want this. Ah, let's draw a card. That is very important. That's very important, we're not gonna lie. Can we play this as a land? No. And the turn. We think the dragon without haste. What does he do when he specialized? Oh, combat step, okay. <coughs> They're looking for another remover spell. They are looking for another remover spell. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, you got the blood tokens from us doing three lands in a row like we did. Supposed to be game over, but I guess not. So we go down to one. We gotta finish it in one turn or we gotta get this. This guy done. They can't put it on a commander because you can just choose to... Yeah, that's not good if they kill this guy. No, 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 don't, don't kill him. Oh, they killed this guy. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so if we specialize him, sacrifice another creature artifact, if we do untap. That's interesting. That's very interesting. So how do we want to do this? To not die? I think play this for zero. Give him death touch. Make some tokens. We can specialize him now, so that kind of sucks. Attack with the team. I don't know. This doesn't really matter. All they drew is just remove them. Oh, we died to revenge of the rivers. Yeah, well, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> I mean, there's something we could have done, but... That was not fun. That was not fun. I 
Not gonna lie, we thought we were gonna win that one, but the, the commander just taking all our creatures and them just drawing removal. And then when they had three lands in a row, like we had chance to get them, they managed to actually have the blood tokens. Like it's just ridiculous. Like the situations that have to happen for us to actually lose are just absolutely ridiculous. To be honest, absolutely ridiculous. The situation that had to happen for us to lose. It's not like we were controlling stuff, but like we had it, we had it going on. To be honest, we had it going on. Just they just beat us basically with their commander and removal, which is very very funny because that's what their deck's supposed to do. But we didn't think that it would be like that effective. Probably we could have played tighter as well. We made a couple of mistakes, and we also know that good at playing with the specializing stuff losing the burn down the house was kind of key that was a bad play for us that was a terrible play for us uh let's just get this down losing that was very very bad we're not gonna lie uh just get Get our commander now, just get this down. We do have burned down the house. They might have counters because they're playing blue. Sure. Let's get our death touch commander down. Not gonna lie, probably could have played that better. Should have burned down the house. Should have burned down the house. Do they not know our commander has left touch? Or they just care about the trample? We'll take him. Okay, so let's take the opportunity to cast him now and let's just drop the Lotus Field and say goodbye to our basic lands. And yes, why are we playing Lotus Field in a two color deck is because it's kind of not really ramp, but it just gives us a lot more mana under one land and there's not much they can do about it. There's not much, we have four mana already, so we can cast this guy. No, we need four lands. Why? Right, let's not screw this up. Uh, what do we get to do? I think we're just gonna cast the connection. Maybe first time we're playing this. When does this activate? Pre combat main phase. Okay, so we don't get it now. So next turn we can actually cast the copper dragon. Okay, so they're not drawing lands. They need a fourth land. Okay, so you get to cast a copper dragon. Copa. Copa Cabana. Oh, it's a bear deck. Honestly, we have to defeat a bear deck. Draw a card. Ah, let's just do this guy. We have to defeat the bear deck. Let's just get a mountain and cast a copper dragon. To put the fear of God into them. And then attack for one. 
So now they should have a bounce. I mean, they need to bounce the dragon, otherwise it's pretty much good game. Not good game, but we get to make a lot of course to gonna cast a bear. <sighs> we don't need treasure tokens. Wait, we lose three life? I thought we gained three life. I was like, why are we losing life? <laughs> why are we losing life? We don't need to create changing token. I thought we're gaining three life. We have to read this card. Draw a card, you lose two life. Create a treasure, you lose. Everything is loss. Loss, loss, loss. That's not fun at all. Oh, we should have cast this. We have six mana. Anyway, uh, attack with this guy and this guy. This guy also draws us cards, right? Yeah, but doesn't lose us life. They can't block, right? This doesn't have reach. Yeah, they block this guy and we get to draw a card. The fact that we lose so much life from making this thing is kind of funny. Huh? I don't know. Kill this. So they can't win. They're on three lands. It's basically just game over. They should just concede. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna get to cast these guys actually because we get the treasure. And. I don't know, get this guy. We get these guys and now it's like game over. Yeah, pay with the treasure. This is. If this is not game over, I don't know what is. Let's give everybody menus and yeah, let's cry. Oh, this is a warlock too. No, ha ha ha. What a combo. Okay, it's good game already. Is it good game or is it good game? Sometimes we got these opponents that they don't know. They don't know when it's over. They just don't know. They just have no idea when the game is good and over. They keep on trying to do the fight rigging thing, which is admirable. Admirable. Okay, that can be annoying. If they start to gain life, that can technically be annoying. But still, do they not die in the air? All these guys have menace, and we have 11 damage in the air. So pretty sure they're kind of dead. We can also make three demons with this though. And we can cast our commander. Yeah, this being 6-6 six, six doesn't actually do anything. Foo, foo, foo. We don't want, actually we don't want any of these. Hopefully we don't get a land. Can we please move them? What is going on? Can we scry them to the bottom? Okay, so scry doesn't work. Okay, we're just going to take the Kami because for some reason we, we can't, like we keep moving them. It doesn't do anything. Uh, what is this two again? Let's just throw a car. Okay, so let's just get this guy down. Let's just hold on. We want to make three devils. Uh, we're getting there. We are absolutely getting there. And everybody's going for it. And this should be GG. Because
because they can block the two dragons and then they can block any of these guys because they all have menace. This has menace, this has menace, this has menace, this has menace. So they are so dead, they just have to concede. They don't have any life gain. What's the point of blocking that guy? Okay, sure. Now take massive amounts of damage. <laughs> the fact that they were behind, they were on 3 land and we were already on 6 mana basically means concede. Also the fact that we are playing, uh, you know, this is kind of for fun, it's not ranked. So there's absolutely no reason for them to try to fight for it when they are incredibly behind in mana. Especially with a deck that doesn't have board wipes and we just go wide so many different ways. So that was our first win. Okay, this is taking too long. That first game took way too long. Way too long. Uh, I think we're gonna have to... I think we're gonna have to mold this. We're gonna have to mull this hand because two swamps is not gonna do it for us. Still get two lands. Uh, okay, but at least we got the provocateur. But both these lands come into play tapped. And we don't draw the third land, which is not good. Again, we have to draw a third land. Yeah, we got one of those two. We give you one more turn. If not, we're gonna concede if we don't draw a third land. We can't even play the lands. Oh wait, it doesn't come into play tapped. Oh ho ho ho, we got... We got something. We get to draw an extra card. Ah, uh, Blitz. What do we want to Blitz? We want to Blitz him. Is it a land? No. Okay, so... We did draw a third land after drawing extra cards. Let's get our commander out. Let's get the Shadow Spear out and pass the turn. Omnaf. Oh yeah, we're playing against Omnaf. Uh, sure, I guess. We need to draw like three lands in a row, to be honest. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. That's not a land. Okay, so we have to get treasure map out. We need to get to mana for... That's also not a land. Yeah, we're just gonna concede at this point. There's no... Like, when you go back, they're gonna play another land. So when they go, like, two two lands behind... It's... There's no point. There's absolutely no point in, in playing. Like, you're literally just wasting massive amounts of time. In real life, there's not much point either. But in real life... Well, you don't wanna concede so early because... I don't know. I mean, if you're playing ranked, but we're not playing ranked, so that means we're gonna concede as fast as possible. Because we already wasted too much time on the first game and we made a misplay and we lost the burn down the house that could've won us the game. So we don't want that to happen again. Two land hand again. We do have fires of invention if we get to see, but this we can't keep this hand because we can't cast anything until turn four. And Tasha is gonna eat our lunch, so we have to more hopefully get three land hand and something smaller to cast. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. Yeah, I will take Lotus the field. Uh, 
Uh, let's cast Thunder's Wake. Seems good to give us extra creatures. If they might have a counter spell. Yes, of course they have a counter spell. So yeah, whatever we cast, they're gonna counter. I think next turn we might try to cast the beetle and then pop the lotus on the board. Pop the lotus on the board. Oh, they're not gonna counter. Okay, we might cast our commander then and pop the lotus. They are looking for a land? Why else would they draw one card? And why would, if it's an instant, why would they cast it on their turn? Methinks we're playing a strange opponent. Methinks we're playing a strange opponent. Uh, let's cast our commander and pop the lotus and break the other two lands. I mean, it just slows you down for one turn. But at the same time, it's gonna make sure we get extra mana next turn, kind of extra mana, I mean we can cast this next turn and then we ramp and then we don't have to worry about mana if they don't counter this and of course they have fatal push every time we cast a commander it just dies just do hu 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 highs well we don't have another land that comes into play untapped this is just ridiculous it's just ridiculous. Uh, I guess we get cast her with haste. Huh? Why? Like, what's the chances of them having that in their hand? We know we're gonna try to cast creatures. Uh, we'll take the tutor. Sure, you can get this guy. I'm not sure why they're in such a hurry to mine stash. So we gotta get the tutor and we have to go for burn down the house. But they might counter it but we don't have an option. Or we can wait one more turn. Oh, let's see if they counter this. No. No. Okay. Try to go for the tutor now. Why is opponent is like supremely smart suddenly? Oh, they didn't. Go oh, we can take inescapable plays actually. That also kills Tasha. I think it's safer because they can counter this. Burn down the house they can counter. And attack Tasha. He's gonna die but we just want the lightning balls. It's funny how casual we say that. Oh, he doesn't die because they didn't minus her. They got the other creature. Okay, never mind. So he can kill Tasha with this. so if we kill Tasha now they just cast her. how much mana do we have three four five six seven eight okay so we have enough mana to cast him uh, 
Päästetään. And then we can kill Tasha end of their turn. Probably should have killed her before she does the crazy thing, minus thing, but... Why would they kill this? They already minus something. Yeah, this opponent is obviously not playing to the best of their abilities. Wait, what? They save her just so they don't play the extra man. Okay. Now it'd be nice if we get something with haste, but of course that's too much to ask. So let's just get the dragon. Oh no, he has haste because of the orb. Ha 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 ha. Six to the face, to the face, to the face, six to the face. Take it and love it. That means we get to cast this guy too for same turn. Oh, they take five to the face. We get ten mana. Okay, so you have your Tasha, but now we get to cast this guy, and then we get to cast our commander. I think that's pretty funny. So hopefully, we're saying this, they don't draw a board wipe, no massacre or something else. Hopefully they don't draw a board wipe, they can just cast their Tasha and minus the Tasha. Hopefully, but with our luck, oh, they're looking for the board wipe. But they only have four mana, so they could only kill our commander. Yeah, we forgot we got this out. Wait, what? They discard Tasha? Oh, they can kill one thing. Oh no, they're just reading. Yeah, they can kill one thing. Okay, that's fine, I guess. What, they drew another removal spell? Two removal spells? Like, how does this happen? Yeah, they drew two <laughs> removal spells. Absolutely unbelievable. Out of three cards, they drew two removal spells. Because why would they not? I don't know, just cast all command. Oh, we should have kept the mountain to flip it. Why do we keep forgetting that specialized also in these lands? Yeah, make a lot of mana that we have nothing to do with. Should not have played the land. And of course they top deck blood on the snow. Because of course they... they like I said, you can't, you can't win. You just can't. You cannot win. Opponent drew three removal spells in a row. Three. Yes, we want to specialize this. Discard this. Three removal spells, like they literally drew like Infernal Grasp and this from the Thirst for Knowledge and they drew the Artifact to discard, like perfect draw and then they top the blood on the snow to board wipe. And now of course they drew another removal spell. Because why would they not draw? Now our commander is 10 mana, but lucky we have 11. Why would they not draw a removal spell? Sure, so we can lightning bolt them and then we cast our commander and specialize it again. And I don't know. Hopefully we top deck at haste phase. It's just ridiculous. Okay, this guy is not bad. So cast the commander. Do we want to deal damage? No, we're just going to use the lightning bolt to specialize. Oh, they finally gave up. Okay, good. Good, because they drew three removal spells in a row. Ha 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 
How fantastic for them. Okay, let's try to play one more. Hopefully get our third win because this is taking too long. This is taking way too long. This is not an amazing hand, but we'll keep it. It's just weird when the opponent just draws exactly what they need. Like they do through removers, personal artifact to this card to, to thirst for knowledge. It's kind of sus. Very, very sus. It's like, I mean, they could have drawn lands, not removers, but at least one land. They could have, I don't know. Just stuff. It's too sus for us. Let's get our main man out. What are we even facing against? A dragon deck? I don't know what we're going to do with the dragon deck. The six six of Brita Blast doesn't do anything. Rahilda is interesting. How do we kill him? Wait, how much is his ward 2? Why ward 2? We can't even do enough damage for him. So we have to stay back because we don't have enough mana. We need 5 mana for Brito Blast to ward to him. Just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that's not good. That's gonna have to get killed. So they make a copy so they can kill something. Yeah, I think we're not winning this game. Not by a long shot. Like, we literally have to kill two things and then we they just cast like another dragon. Yeah, let's just try to get our win somewhere else. That's not gonna happen. Not when they get the dragon out, like turn four, I think. They ramp. I mean, some games we're just not gonna win. Some games we will, and some games we won't. So maybe this might be our final game. If we get a win, we get a win. If not, we don't want this video to be too long. One hour is already pushing it. And again, if you're not having fun, then playing extra games is not gonna make you much better. Because chances are you might not have fun in the future games too okay that's not good but we do have some board wipes two land hand again again three land hand and like nothing comes out sure nothing comes out until turn five Ah, 
probably gonna go on a limb and say we're probably not gonna win this game unless we draw I don't know we need black mana first and we need to cast something before turn 5 And of course they got like the best creature, like one of the best creatures they could have probably milled. Yes, after how many games we play, we finally get this and we literally have to cast this and then cast our commander because we need to get to 5 mana before they get to 6 mana absolutely astounding we play like what 6 games and we didn't draw we have the other ramps too we have the other artifact we play 6 games we didn't draw this and of course we never had in our opening hand to cast it on the second turn so for 5 mana, what is the most this guy's pretty dangerous? They're all pretty dangerous. Actually if we get 6 mana we can just get that. We can just get her and then we have our commander fight and kill this thing but this doesn't do anything. It's a common. Okay, they need lands to get their crazy stuff out. Okay, so we're not gonna cast her. We have to cast. So next time they're gonna cast their commander. So next time we're gonna have to cast her. Maybe this guy seems the most dangerous. Yeah, this thing comes into play. Oh no, it's untapped. Okay, we're just gonna go for the dragon then. Because it means they have to kill the dragon. Fortunately, it doesn't have haste. But if they cast their commander, that means they don't get to kill the dragon. And their commander doesn't have anything that can block flyers, I think. Yeah, so we can actually cast this and we can have our commander fight their commander or their main commander. So... I think we have to check out exactly what did they get. This is the main one. This card, okay, so. We're gonna get our dragon. To fight their commander. Attack. Our guy has death touch, so if they block you with one of those things, I mean they obviously trade it's a 2-2, two -two, but uh, we get a lot of mana from this guy, so we can actually cast another thing. Uh, if they kill our commander, we obviously don't really care. Command 20. So what do they have left? We lose 3 life unless we discard. We can discard this guy, he's pretty useless. Come on, 20, roll a 20, we need some mana. We need some mana. Two. Why two? What are we gonna do with two? 
discard this too. As we said, he is pretty useless. Not useless, but he's definitely not the best card in our. Yeah, okay, there's not the best card in our deck. What is this doing when you specialize? Oh, we can't create a copy, but because it's gone. Okay, so we don't have to specialize. Huh? So it's time for one of these big boys to come out. We have five, six, seven, eight. So if we top the Canada land, we can actually cast this guy and this guy. Which means it puts them in a situation where they have to board wipe the next turn if they want to survive. Not sure why they're blocking. Oh, I guess they want to draw a card from this guy. And activate Xander's Wake, but that's fine. Uh, that's fine, you get to do whatever. And he comes back to play, sure. What a combo. We need one more land to cast this. Should we cast this guy? These two bad boys. Oh, okay. Let's attack first. Let's see how much mana we get from the dragon. Maybe we get 20 and we get to cast our whole hand. Who knows? Who knows? Sure, they can kill her. We don't really care about her. She did her job. Can we get 20? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Yeah, you gain a life, you draw a card, you get to search for something. Congratulations. They have enough mana to cast their commander again, but again they have to deal with the flying dragon. One. How did we get two and one? How? I think instead of Town Razor, because this guy also has fly, we're just gonna have to cast Cosmos Elixir. We have to start throwing that. We have the worst luck with this dragon. A two and a one. Uh yeah, we'll take him because she gets control of a creature, so we can get their creature. We just lose three life. Come on, cast your commander again. But actually, if you cast your commander, you die to the flyers. So they have to kill both flyers. What are his other options? Deals to damage to a player. And they create. Deals to damage to. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, they kill our dragon, okay. I mean, they do have like eight cards in hand. So they have a remover for him. So we can discard cards. No. Wait a second, this thing brings back something into play. For 5 mana and you get a 2-3. Why aren't we playing this? Okay, so they get a flyer now. As usual, the opponent just uh, does stuff. But we get to take their flyer. So sorry, sir. Fortunately, we don't have any extra mana. Oh, we can actually suck it to this. <gasps> we can suck it to that. That's pretty nice. Uh, we can pump our stuff and we can draw. Why can we choose us? Hmm. 
Yes, we want to get plus. I think the mana doesn't go over for us to specialize this guy. Just gonna suck. Okay, that doesn't do anything. They still take the six. Oh, if we had cast our commander, they would be dead. We don't need the swamp. Yeah, the mana doesn't go over. Uh, decline. So if this guy dies, they take two damage. So they have to gain life, otherwise they're dead. Like they can't kill this guy. So it should be game over. <laughs> Unless they have something to exile him. When he attacks, it's game over. Hopefully they don't have something to exile. Okay, that doesn't exile. So we just attack with him in the air. And if they block or if he dies, they take two damage. So they have to attack with everything. Because... I don't know, let's just block this guy. Because they're dead on our turn. We can also cast our commander and they lose one life end of turn. And there you have it. Finally, after so many fights, we won the third game. So thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more MTG content videos.